my name is Hanley Adrick, 2013 national champion. On this segment, I'd like to show you how to rig, um, rig your spear gun, uh, your basic rigging of your spear gun with monofilament. Um, today I'm using the Geronimo Elite Camel by Cressy. And the tools I'm going to be using, your basic crimpers, uh, your double, double sleeves, and I'm using 130 pound monofilament. First you like to attach your bungee to your gun. With the longer side of your bungee the loop, the longer side of the loop, you like to thread it through the eye and the front of the gun. Push the bungee through the loop. Come back around so it locks in place securely. And you like to take your shaft. There's two eyes. Um, you can put your monofilament in the front eye or the rear. I prefer the rear because when you shoot a, sh when you shoot fish, it's easier to you know hold, pull the fish off the shaft because it'll slide right down. There, and if you uh, you put it on the front eye, when you pull the, trying to take your fish off, it'll be a lot harder because it won't just slide, you know, like um, smoothly down the, down the shaft and the line. It'll get caught. So this segment, I'm putting it up through the rear. First, I put, put my mono through my double eye sleeve, then through the rear side of uh, my shaft. On this, you got to be careful. Um, make, make sure your loops large enough so it won't get caught up inside of the trigger mechanism when you put your shaft through. That way the, the trigger can lock. Otherwise you'll have a hard time trying to close the, the trigger won't lock with the sleeve in place. Um, yeah, the rear of the shaft won't engage. So make sure you have a right size loop. I, I like to make my loop maybe about two inches in length, total, total length of the loop. Make sure your sleeve, monofilament thoroughly through the sleeve before you crimp it. Okay. Using my double sleeve crimper. Squeeze that down securely. And make sure it's crimped the right way. You want a nice flat sleeve. You don't want it to be, you know, sharp edges. That could, could like uh, better chances of cutting your monofilament. Okay. From there, we thread it through the front of the the gun, under the rubbers. You know, you set it inside of the front of the muzzle. And there's a groove sliding down the, the barrel. It help you, uh, it help in tracking the, the shaft straight into the trigger mechanism. With the loop on top and the crimp, you want it to be on the top side of the, the shaft. That way it won't interfere with the locking mechanism in the trigger housing. You hear the click, you know it's locked in place. You take your monofilament, you go over the, since this being an open muzzle, there's a, an eye on the left side of the muzzle, then you need to tread this, your monofilament through, go back over to the right side of the muzzle, there's another eye that the mono, monofilament slides through. This helps to hold down the shaft, the, the monofilament going over the shaft, into the other eye and helps secure the shaft into place in a groove, the front of the muzzle. Come back around your line release. 
and back up through the eye in your shock cord, your bungee. You thread your monofilament through the eye on the bungee, back around through your crimp. On this one, I like to make, you know, have my um, crimp it a little smaller than, than you did on the rear of the, the rear of the shaft, leaving less, uh, less chance, you know, you don't have a big loop, so when you fire your shaft or whatever won't get caught in there and, you know, your shaft won't fire all the way out through the gun. That way you get maximum distance from your shaft. And you don't want to make your bungee, uh, your monofilament too tight. You just want to have it nice and snug so your bungee stretches maybe about an inch. Like perfect. You know, keep the line nice and snug, not loose. You crimp that down, so you're nice and secure. Double check your crimp, make sure there's no sharp edges that could cut the line when you fire. Trim off your access. And you're good to go. You're ready to go out there, catch some fish. Hope you guys enjoyed this segment. Go out there, catch a lot of fish. Dive safe. Aloha.